Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' name. My name is Samuel E. Molombe, and I'm the man that God uses. Welcome to this prophetic channel. God bless you in Jesus' name. I have a word from God. The Lord says you will soon be in a new relationship. This person right here is your soulmate. God says you are going to soon be in a new relationship. And this time, this person is your soulmate. Father, we thank you for this prophetic word. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you speak to your child right now in a way that he would understand. In Jesus Christ's name. Before I go ahead, family, this is not a general word. This is a very specific word. And I want you to listen to your spirit as you listen to me. For you to know if God is speaking to you through this word. The Lord is saying you will soon be in a new relationship. Don't give up on love just yet. So there's somebody you have um, not really had the best of. Permit me use the word luck. You know, we as believers, we don't operate in, by luck. We operate by grace. But you have not really had grace in the aspect of relationships because you've always met wrong ones. Counterfeit camouflage. People who always come to claim that they are <laughs> what um, God has promised for you only to find out somewhere in the relationship that they are not. The Lord says the last one break you and you are almost calling it a quit. You say to yourself that you know what, maybe this thing is not for me. But well, don't take that decision just yet. God is speaking to you through this prophetic word that you will soon be in a new relationship and this time there is nothing that the devil can do about it but there are three things i want you to note number one when god speaks prophetically only um it's not only you that hear it the devil hears it so what does he do he heavily brings in a counterfeit so that you get distracted at this um, i know you you get um, dis displaced that's the word I'm looking for. You get displaced. So that when the, the one that God has purpose and destined for you comes, he doesn't meet you there. The Bible tells us of ten virgins. They were all virgins. And they went out to meet the bridegroom. They were supposed to meet the bridegroom at a certain place. Unfortunately, five of them ran out of oil. So they went back to get oil. When the bridegroom came, he did not meet them at the position. So positions are very important. God has destined for your spouse to meet you at a certain state of mind, at a certain geographical location. And what the devil does is that he tries by all possible means to get you out of that place. You get discouraged, disappointed, and you walk out so that you're going to meet some other kind of counterfeit. And then you think this is what God prophesied and what promised me, and then you, you're going to miss it. The second thing I want you to notice is that when God gives a word, it's now left for you to prepare, to receive, <clears throat> I'm sorry, to receive that person that the Lord has destined for you. So what do you do? You begin to read books. You begin to prepare yourself mentally so that you do not um, um, repeat the same old mistakes you made in your other relationships, in this new relationship. What people tend to do is that they're looking for people who can accommodate their weaknesses rather than working on their weaknesses. Because it's the person that God has sent for you doesn't mean he's going to just take any crap from you. What that means is that he's going to be patient and going to create the right atmosphere, the environment for you to change. But there are things that you must work on daily. The third thing is to connect prophetically. You do not celebrate prophecy. You activate it. Can I say that again? You do not celebrate prophecy. You activate it. There are so many people I have seen, have given prophetic words for them, and they're just like, oh, thank God, yay. And then they walk out, and that word doesn't come to pass because you activate prophecy. You do not celebrate it. This is your season. This is your time. God has prophesied it. I want you to activate it. How do you activate it? By prayers, by sowing of seed, by connecting your faith to it. You activate it by speaking it out, by believing in it. 
you start working on yourself have a list a checklist of the habits that you do not like that your your previous relationship your partners were complaining about and number one which is also very important you try as much as possible to stay where god wants you to be i'm praying in the name of jesus that god will give you the grace to you know be able to identify this person that god is sending into your life and to be there when he comes the lord bless you and keep you cause his face to shine on you and be gracious to you god give you peace in jesus name shalom